So I was just checking out the testing academy comment section, right? And I got this message from one of my subscribers. Can you tell us like why most of us fail to become an automation tester? We most of the manual testers, they know that by jumping into the automation, they will get high salary. They will get better opportunity. They will get a better work. Companies nowadays are switching toward the automation. They know everything still for three years, four years, seven years, they are stuck in the manual testing profile and they don't want to switch to automation what is the top reason and why do most of the people fail to become an automation tester can you please discuss on this in this video i'm going to discuss about top five reasons why most of the people basically are right now struggling to learn about the automation and trust me it is not difficult all right so let's get started let me tell you the first important point, which is not taking the first step. So let me tell you very important thing. So when I have started, I hope you everyone knows right where well, I was a manual tester. I have not written a single line of code till two years of joining a particular company. I have joined a multinational company, no idea about the coding. I was from the electronics and communication background. So I know about the microprocessors and all right and chips and all. See, the first thing is you have to do is that you have to take the first step. First step is a super, super hard. Trust me, why you guys are basically missing out is that you are not taking the first step. So what is the first step promote in this case? Right? I'll talk about that. But first step is basically can be anything. Let me tell you my first step. My first step was when I was a manual tester, right? I thought if I try to learn about the Java or directly the web automation, it may be difficult at the time. So what I did is, okay, let's do with the reverse path. So what I did is I started learning API testing manually first. So I started exploring Postman. I learned about the API testing. I learned about the SOAP, REST, REST constraints, STP fundamentals, different STP methods. Then I started learning the programming language, which is Java, right? And me, I have learned Java multiple times. Not one time, I have learned Java multiple times. So for example, if I have finished Java for two months, then there is a break. Then again, I have started learning from some of the blogs, YouTube videos, and again, again and again, right? So again and again, again and again, I have done it multiple times. So taking the first step is the most important. You have to take leap of the faith first. That's how multiple students have also my started. So I got this message. This is the first message, which basically I got whenever I take the automation batches, right? Which is, sir, I have a fear of coding. I cannot code. Whenever I see code, I was like, what, what I have to do? This is you have to do. You have to start learning the coding first, then start practicing. Even if you don't understand, repeat, repeat two, three times. Definitely you will be able to do it. But the first thing is that you have to do is take the first step, which is the super. Now, now jump to the second important point which is you have no clue where to start to be honest you have no idea which topics you have to basically go through what is the roadmap that you have to follow right so i have discussed about the roadmaps topics everything into my youtube channel multiple times if you go here with the atb topics so as the dot live i have given all the topics which i think are necessary to become an automation tester as a manual tester as a fresher as a known it if you want to jump to automation all of them i have given here in this case right i have prepared a roadmap for you especially you can download that roadmap as a pdf you can keep it handy you can basically keep it as printed form so that you can basically memorize that that okay these are topics that you should know so here if you think we have our testing related or uh, ABA postman everything core java what you have to learn in selenium everything is basically present there is a full roadmap that i have basically gone through I have given you 30 day challenges, 30 day challenges for API testing, 30 day challenges for automation, 30 day challenges for selenium, 30 day challenges for rest assured, everything basically I have given you here. The problem here is that you are not taking the first step. Second point is that you have no clue where to start. So here you have to start. Third important point, fear of coding, how to handle that. I think it can be only review when you basically take a first step and you start learning it. So even when I have started now, I was confused. Okay, so should I basically go through it because I don't understand the concept. So bitwise, uh, bit manipulation, I don't understand. Should I go forward or not? Yes or no. So one of my mentors told me that, see, sometimes you don't understand the concept. It's fine. What you have to do is that, okay, keep it aside, start learning the new other important concepts, complete the cycle, which is basically complete the overall training of the coding, right? For example, two months it, it has taken to learn about the Java, then come again, learn from other mentors also about the same topics. Then what will happen is the more you started learning, the more you do practice, you will basically grab the same concepts. So 
fear of coding can be removed by jumping into it start with automating the api testing using postman right where postman scripts are very basic automation that you you can start you can start with a little javascript there and this is how i have done it so it will take trust me it will take around four four to five months or five months plus but what if after five months you get some results you get a new better salary you better hike better opportunity new product based company where they can give you more opportunity so this is just remind about those things right so practice and learn learn it multiple times see a picture in the end which basically means that you have to think about the end goal end goal basically is that okay think about it like after six months or seven months i am an automation tester in one of the product based company right that's how you have to think about it if you think about it right, and you act like today this is what you have to do so next point is that focus on the pain not the results that's what you are doing what you are doing is that you are basically focusing on the pain that you will have for example i cannot code it is too difficult i cannot do this no you have to think about the results when you are getting a high salary when you are basically doubled your salary on the automation when you have done multiple multiple things this is where the important thing is you have to think about high salary more opportunity better company long term boring because manual testing eventually will become boring in the end that's you have to think about that's the super important point and the last important thing that you have not seen it that's why you can't do it so this is one of the principle that i have basically learned is that because a uh, talk to my mentor for example you can talk to me right because i have done it myself that's why i know this can be done because i have taught multiple multiple student guys multiple people and i have seen doing it no it people basically switch to automation fresher directly jumping into automation manual tester after 3 year 4 year 7 year 11 years are jumping into automation i have seen it multiple times in my multiple webinars you have seen there are people who are basically into bpo they switch to automation role they switch to manual testing role that they have done it i have seen one of my student as a waiter who are basically converted into the automation right in uk i have seen it so think about that because you have not seen it that's why you don't know about it so this is i think the most important the why the most people don't don't become an automation tester because of these 500 point i hope this helps right if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and liking the video right and if you are old subscriber thanks a lot for joining thanks a lot from my heart and please share this video for someone you think that it will be very very helpful they should deserve a automation knowledge somewhere in the future right you can share this video with them this can act as a motivation see my mission is that i want you to become an automation tester to you become a better software tester see i always love that everyone should become a skilled software tester which is nothing but an automation tester you should learn about it right i know many people will not able to do it but the person who will be able to do it i am with them right so that's what i really want my mission is that you will you should become a great software tester and excellent automation tester that's what i really really want thanks a lot for watching this video i hope this helps this is your host pramod i'll see you in the next video bye bye Thank you.